welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a day in the life i thought i just share some things with you some new baby stuff i got uh, books that i'm reading and just yeah just a chatty day in the life i just got myself ready i went for a very colorful a uh, lip today this is from the primark a lip and cheek balm i believe um i really like this color and it matches my earrings and my earrings are from the zeeman uh, in the netherlands and i'm wearing a dress that is from the new yorker i believe it is a bit on the short side at the moment uh, because my bump it's growing a lot as you can see this is my bump at the moment yeah, it's growing very fast now. I will also update you guys uh, about my sugar levels. And uh, I also went for another ultrasound. So yeah, I will update you guys about all of that. I'm quite hungry and I'm going to eat some lunch. I'm going to eat the pasta that I made uh, last week that I put in the freezer. Um, because I made a lot. So I'm just going to have a little bit of pasta. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do first. And uh, if you're excited for a new vlog, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's get started. So I'm having this for lunch. It is a whole wheat uh, pasta with mushrooms and some creamy sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheese as well. So I'm in the nursery right now and um, I thought I'd show you a few presents that I got. So first of all, I got these really cute little shoes that uh, we got from uh, customers that always come to the hotel where my husband works, which is just so sweet. Then I got these really cute blocks to take photos with. Um, you got days, weeks and months and also years even. And then you got these blocks with numbers on them. So you can take really cute pictures once the baby is born, um, which I think is such a nice idea. And then I got from my husband's boss's wife, also these uh, really cute, I don't know how you call them in English. In Dutch, we call them slobbetjes. It's basically like a scarf and uh, you can use them for many things when they eat or when they're teething. And she got some really cute prints. I really like this one. Look how cute that is. And then I also got this gorgeous knitted blanket. Um, it's just a really plain white, which I really like. And the pattern in it is just stunning. Um, yeah, I really like this one as well. And I think blankets are always nice to have. So I'm really happy with this as well. And I know it's still a bit early, but we saw this uh, high chair by the Ayus beer supermarket here in Turkey. And um, it was in the sale. So I thought we'd just get it now. And um, yeah, it's a really nice high chair. It got also these little toys, but you can also um, detach them. So yeah, also happy with that purchase. Other than that, there hasn't changed much. As you can see, the bed is still the same. And I got all of the other things right here. Um, I think I'm going to wash all of the clothing maybe in the next two weeks. Because you never know if the baby arrives more early. And I just like to have everything ready. So I guess I'm going to start washing everything um, in the next uh, few weeks. And my sister-in-law recommended this to me. This, this is basically a natural soap that you can use to wash baby clothes with. Yeah, obviously it's for adults as well. But she said that it's really nice um, for baby clothing. So I will try this out. This is a Turkish brand, I believe, Duru. And on the package it says that it's only for 25 washes. But I believe I can use this for a long time because... You don't need a lot. So yeah, I will use this when I'm going to wash all of the baby stuff. So if you watched my last video, uh, the what I eat in a day, you know that I have high sugar levels during my pregnancy, unfortunately. And um, I had a ultrasound three days ago. Yeah, three days. And uh, everything was looking perfect. Baby boy is growing good. Thank God. I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, he is not too big though. Because a lot of women with high sugar levels or um, gestational diabetes um, have a big baby. 
puppet or baby is just average he's growing normal so um, that's very good news but I do need to still continue my diet um, till the end of my pregnancy so hopefully I can control my blood sugars with this diet so I don't need to use any uh, insulin I thought I also share with you some books that I got um, because now I can still read once the baby is here I don't have time to read I guess so I got this book Trading Up by Candice Bushnell she's also the author of Sex and the City and I really love Sex and the City so I thought I'd pick this up um, I have to say I'm a bit disappointed it. I don't know I'm not really enjoying it because the main character in the book is very narcissistic and I don't know there's not a lot of depth it's kind of like sex in the city but I just I'm just really annoyed with the main character so that's why I'm not really enjoying it uh, but as you can see I just have some pages to go so maybe I will change my mind in the end we'll see but yeah I'm currently reading this book and then I also picked up the Spanish Love Deception. I saw this. These are second hand by the way. I picked them up in Marmaris in a little shop. Um, I saw a lot of good reviews about this book. I'm just really excited to read this. I guess it's a perfect book for when I go to the beach and you know just want to read something. So yeah I will let you guys know how I like this. I also got some questions about pregnancy workouts. So the doctor told me to walk and swim a lot and I do do that. I swim maybe four or five times a week. Uh, I really enjoy swimming because you use all of your muscles and it's not too intense. So I really like to swim to keep my body healthy. And sometimes in the evening I walk, not every night, but I do walk in the evening because um, now it's just too hot to go for a walk during the day. And um, I also do sometimes a pregnancy workout in the morning. And I just follow a lady who does uh, fitness tutorials here on YouTube. And I will link her channel down below. Um, and I follow the um, second trimester workout right now. And I do that maybe twice, three times a week, something like that. And it's also not too intense. So if you are like a big, so if you are a beginner like me, it's very easy to follow and not too difficult. And you can take a break, of course, whenever you need. So yeah, that's what I do to keep my body fit. I think it's very important because labor is like a marathon, I guess. Like you need to prepare your body for it. So I just try to stay active as much as possible. But like I said, it's very, very hot right now. So during the day, I'm not doing too much. Um, and then in the morning, I usually swim. And um, in the evening, I walk. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. So I'm now going to my mother-in-law. Um, as you guys know, I spent a lot of time with her in the summer because my husband is working basically every single day. Um, so I'm going to her for dinner. And maybe I will film a bit on my phone. I don't know. I think I left my camera here at home. So yeah, I will have a look. Maybe I film a bit with my phone over there. Mm -hmm. 